It's organizations like yours that inspire us and unite us in our vision of a healthier world, a world where there's less cancer. To make this vision real, we need to figure out new ways to prevent cancer, not just cure it. To begin with, we need to stop exposing ourselves to chemicals that cause cancer. I thought that if a product was on a shelf in a store, that it was safe. I naively believed that if a product contained ingredients that were dangerous, toxic, chemicals that could cause cancer, then they'd be banned. But I've learned something over the past three years while making a documentary. Companies don't need to disclose that they're selling a product that contains chemicals that cause cancer or disrupt hormones. The secret to bliss is what's inside the bottle. And here's why. Because in Europe, 1,400 chemicals that cause cancer, birth defects, and rep reproductive harm are actually banned from consumer products. In America, 11 ingredients are banned. That's right, 1,400 in Europe, 11 in America. And only a groundswell of public anger will bring about a change in the law that gets the most toxic ingredients off the market, out of our products, and gets all information about the ingredients in your products on product labels. I made a promise to my wife, Heather, and I have an obligation to my kids. We all have an obligation to future generations. On National Cancer Prevention Day, I leave you with this. Congress needs to close the cancer loophole. If Congress passed a law that forced companies to disclose all cancer-causing chemicals on product labels, then we would have more informed consumers, safer products, and most importantly, less cancer.